three, two, one. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Cue the intro, Brian. <laughs> All right, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the Brothers Game Podcast. It's me, Nikolai. It's the intro we do every time, every single time. It's exactly the same. I just started the timer, yeah. so none of that counted. Right. None of that was canon. Also, this is Brian. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, uh oh, missed you. Uh, so, what's you, up, fam? So, the Lightning Temple. It's basically dry, dry ruins. When you think about it, yeah. I haven't played it. So <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. 140 hours in, and I have not oh, finished. I've been playing longer than you now. Oh, man. 155 I hours. Need to get, I need to get on it. Listen, <laughs> I've been busy. Um, I, have, I still haven't done the Lightning Temple. I'm in front of the Water Temple. So <laughs> I've started, like, I'm, like, hanging out with Sidon. I'm doing wow. it, but I haven't gotten to it yet. So... <sighs> This is the game with the... F so out of games that actually track how long you've been playing them right. all together, this is the fourth most time I've put into a game. Fourth most. Okay. Yes. Well, what were the other three? <laughs> we have to know. Age, Imp Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition okay. by a okay. wide margin. What is that, like 500? Like 1,500. <laughs> what? Seriously? Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. It, that was over a period of like six months. But still, that's not that long. I know. <laughs> for 1500. I, I still don't I, really understand how it got that high. Yeah. Because I don't feel like I played that much. Yeah. But whatever. Um, like second place would be World of Warcraft. Like, I think Pokemon Shield is still my number one on my Switch. Oh. With like over 200 hours or something. Oh, wow. I didn't yeah, play I don't nearly know, that long. I don't know how that happened either. It yeah. must have been like Shiny Hunter. I only put stuff. like 95 hours into yeah. Swords. So. I don't know. So, speaking of. Uh, I want to borrow your copy of Sword. Is that okay? Oh yeah, sure. You're not. I haven't touched you're not it playing in months. It, so. so yeah. If you want it back, just ask. Yeah. But my I'm second most on my Switch is Legends Arceus. Yeah, I think that and Violet are pretty tied. Because I only put 75 hours into Breath of the Wild. Oh yeah. So that and Violet and Arceus are yeah. all over 100 easily. Um, but yeah, World of Warcraft was my second most. I had over 700 hours logged on one character, mm -hmm. um, and then. PSO, third most, over 500 uh, yeah. hours logged on one character. Nice. Um, PSO is probably higher than World of Warcraft, actually, because World of Warcraft, I really didn't put a lot of time into any other characters, whereas in PSO, I have You've characters that I have since deleted yeah. that had over 100 hours of playtime yeah. just in so that character. It's up there, so, for yeah, sure. It's, it's got to be close to 1,000. Yeah, I really wonder. I think franchise wise mm -hmm. i probably put the most time into pokemon actually yeah actual hours that uh, that's probably true for me but um uh, if we're talking about singular games right it's gotta be either halo 2 or 3 oh because yeah because of all the xbox all the, Live. all the matchmaking and stuff yeah yeah that's probably up there there for is me no too. other there is no other online multiplayer game i played more than that yeah see like games like kingdom hearts 2 mm -hmm. i played a lot right yeah, but and I beat it a few, quite a few times, mm -hmm. but I don't think it was that many actual hours. No, also. I've probably put less than two hundred so, hours into the in, into Kingdom Hearts two. Yeah, after I, like three playthroughs, I've probably it, only so. put about two hundred hours in it. I feel like, yeah. like even though I played it that, so many times. And back yeah, then, it's and it's the same it's with like long, uh, so. Pokemon or Paper Mario because like Pokemon Blue, I have beaten hundred, uh, well over a hundred times. Yeah. But each of those times was 10 hours or less, generally. Yeah. So that's... It's just quick. Yeah. yeah. So I have probably put over 1,000 hours into Very Pokemon different. Blue. But I don't think... I think I've probably put less... I might have put less than I did into Age of Empires 2 Definitive yeah. Edition. Just, that's crazy. Just because... Uh, I mean, you were learning you know, the strats for a while there. You were pretty yeah. pretty. Yeah, I was trying really it. hard to learn, like, fast castle. You were trying to actually be stuff. good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely better than I ever used sure, to be. I'm sure, but, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's just that's just practice and putting in the yeah. time, so... I'd really like to... St so, uh, most people who are at the very top of Age of Empires 2 play... Uh, they have very f high actions per minute. They can do a lot of things in a very short period of time. Makes sense. There's one guy who is up there with with the best who has very low actions per minute hmm. compared to a pro, at least. Okay. 
I'd love to know more about how he how plays. How he plays, His, yeah. He goes by the name Doubt. Okay. Um, and famously, he uh, was had a castle that was like 80% complete, and it was destroyed before it was done being built. Jeez. And so um, T90... Had, uh, uh, he in all of his streams, he has Doubt's face on the castle. <laughs> wow! Until they're completed, nice. And anytime he sees one get destroyed. killed before it's uh, finished building, he calls it a Doubt Castle. <laughs> so that's he'll be forever form immortalized in that way. That's funny. But yeah, I'd love to know more about his playing style because of his lower actions per minute. Because that I could maybe learn how to do. Mm -hmm. Because I am, I have a pretty hard cap in just how many things just I can do speed, at once. Pure, pure speed, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, that's funny. So Zelda. Yeah. So I was just I thinking done... about. I've gotten good at speed in Zelda. Yeah. Like jump, jumping, shield, like bullet time, switch, grab a thing, shoot, shoot, mm -hmm. drop down. You know the the speed of combat in that game yeah i've gotten pretty good at i would say I like feel practicing like online when it comes stuff. to games that involve that kind of skill at all yeah that my best is probably halo yeah because most of the games that i'm like quote unquote good at which i don't know whatever mm -hmm. um they're RPGs, and RPGs don't in generally involve any real physical skill or any yeah, skill like in terms of action. doing button combinations yeah. and stuff. It's just about knowing strategies and, yeah. and knowing builds. And, but I'm more of the platformer type, yeah. which requires more speed and accuracy mm -hmm. in that way. So. Yeah, it's like Mario Kart 64, mm -hmm. specifically, because any newer Mario Kart, and I'm average at best, uh... <laughs> But uh, and Halo, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I, like that's cool. Yeah, I, I can't really think of any other games where it's just like where I'm playing at like a high level and I would guess yeah the next level like past me is fi is fighting game people yeah because of their speed and memorization of of button yeah, combinations but and stuff. I bet there's a lot of people that are really good at fighting games that are not very good at Zelda and platformers yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So I feel like it's good at fighting games is more impressive though than good yeah. at mario and zelda i feel so. like the skill ceiling is very very high yeah so that, yeah. that's like intense this is just an area i don't touch so yeah. yeah so speaking of that uh i think i need to learn how to do like flurry rushes like actually stuff. learn how to fight <laughs> i basically don't know any of that and so yeah. far uh, for You've been okay yeah. for 95 percent of the game that's fine yeah, that's perfect. You don't need to know. They're how pretty to do easy any on you. Yeah, even in breath and in Breath of the Wild, there were a couple of points where I felt like maybe I'd have to learn to, how to do that. But I beat that game without need needing to know any of that. Yeah. So yeah. Um, uh, if you want, I mean, you should definitely watch the Austin John video. I, I have. I've oh. watched like three of his videos because he has one on like practicing on line ills, basically. Yep. Okay. I watched that, that one was, because that, that, that was part of lot, that was part so. of. Um, him talking about the strongest weapons in the game. Oh, yeah. That's right. And so he was talking about, like, combining Lionel parts with weapons mm -hmm. to get the strongest weapons. Um, he did one that was, like, every type of weapon of yeah. A combination effect. Yeah. Do you know about so the B rod? I made one. I made one because of his video. I have one. That's yeah. Awesome. It's so awesome. You could just throw bees at people. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, this game ah! rules. <laughs> like, that is brilliant. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, so that's really I have helpful. finished all of the temples, mm -hmm. including the spirit temple down in the depths. Um, I have all of the sages. Mm -hmm. And so I went down. So I remember uh, you were saying like you were kind of afraid to go underneath Hyrule Castle yeah. because of, of just running into Ganon. Because obviously in Breath of the Wild, you can go straight to Hyrule Castle yep. and fight Ganon right away. Walk in. And it starts, yeah. Uh, in this game, you have to go so far down. Mm -hmm. Just like, it feels like you're going miles down before you actually Which reach is really cool. anything. So, um, so I went down there. So, don't worry um, about it. Got it. So first, you go below the castle, and there's not really a lot there. Yeah. But there's a little, like, hallway, a kind of, you a crevice you can go through. And then you can go down a bit. And then there's some enemies and you get through them 
And then I got kind of lost, didn't know where to go. And then I found it and I went there. And so there's a little bit of going up and going down, going up and going down. Oh, and there's like these ruins down there. Um, and you make your way to um, Gloom's origin and Gloom's... Yeah. Uh, Spooky. And, uh, Spooky. So... Now I'm going to get into gameplay spoilers, not oh, okay. not necessarily backstory spoilers or okay. anything, but gameplay spoilers. So this is spoilers. probably final boss spoilers of some yeah. sort. Yeah. So the vi- the first thing you do as part of the final boss fight. Oh, by the way, too, I have no idea what. Once you get on, so. below a certain point, sages are gone. <gasps> they can't reach you, you. They cannot reach you. Once you once you go below a certain point, Gain it once smart. you go deep enough into <laughs> He's the He's like, I ain't, I ain't messing with yeah. that. So you show up, and there's this, like, basically this, like, egg-shaped uh, thing of gloom. Icky. And that's where he's, that's, like, his inner chamber. He's like... And so you get like to the outside of little that, thing. and then an army of bow goblins spawns covered in Spooky. gloom. Yeah. And... At first, it looks like you might have to fight them alone, but then the actual people show up, not your sages, but like... Dude, uh, that freaking rules. Yeah, not your sage summons, but the actual sages themselves. Spoilers. Yeah. That's really cool. Like, like I said, gameplay spoilers. Um, they come and help you and f- fight all these um, things. And then you fight like five, four or five waves of uh, armies, and then... All the bosses show up, oh one of each of the bosses, and they're all like, we, we've got this covered. You go on ahead. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. We'll take care of them. So yeah. you go inside this egg thing, you have, and you confront Ganondorf, and uh-huh. you just fight him straight up, mano a mano, sword to sword. Sword yeah. to sword. Gosh, that's and so of course, sick. He deals gloom damage to you, yeah. and he hits hard. Scary. Um, So I decided to just... There, I was not anywhere near prepared. Yeah. And I was like, go I'm it. going to lose, but yeah. I'm curious how far I can get. Yeah. So I got to to him yeah. with with really less than you should have to yeah. be prepared. Honestly, the sages do so much for you that mm. the I mean, army is not five that of them difficult too, to fight, so. honestly. Yeah. But yeah, so... Not knowing how to flurry rush, not being good at parrying. Just getting wrecked. I've never been yeah. good at parrying in any game that has a parrying mechanic. Yeah, um, the timing. Yeah. So he wiped the floor with me. Yeah, that's which is good. Yeah, I think kinda. that's cool. Like, I'm glad you didn't sort of easily beat him. Yeah, that would be disappointing a little, right? A little, surely. Yeah, yeah I want him to be strong. Like, mm. yeah. Anyway, so that's just me. Maybe he did beat me. Um. I, I had zero gloom healing. Oh, yeah. Well, so, that, you're screwed, there was yeah. no way. <laughs> Unless I was like absolutely perfect with parrying and flurry right. rushes. And, and so would you have just been like, didn't get hit, basically. Yeah, yeah. Like those people that are like, I'll just do it with five hearts. No big deal. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. So That's I, did, awesome. I did lose. And now, once you go into Gloom's Origin, uh, uh, that's. A point of no return. Oh, so if you geez. have s- saved there, that's it. You have to load an earlier save. You can't just oh, wow. leave. Interesting. But so I uh, just loaded so the I just save before a save yeah. right before that, and then left. Nice. Um, because well, you, can, you know you can yeah. drop a medallion yeah. pretty close to that spot, cool. and so I actually have one still down there. Oh, good. In case I ever want to so go, just... go right back. Well, yeah, if, you, if you're ready to finish the game mm-hmm. now, you can jump down. Yeah. So now I'm going to just do some other things. Yeah. Uh, well, there's uh, plenty to do still. Yeah. So, <laughs> so <laughs> there's a lot to do. First of all, do. I'm going to all the Sky Islands I haven't been to yet. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So you'll find a lot of shrines and a lot of yeah. other things. Yeah. Oh, um, I wanted to see. King Gliok, maybe. This, this was interesting. Um, Sage's Will. I f- so I found the f- the because I've been everywhere in the depths. I found the Forge uh, Factory, or yeah. the the Zonai Factory or whatever construct factory. I think yeah, it's called construct factory. Um, which I have and, found as well. And so which that's I can't part do anything with. of the spirit. It, the right, that's part of the spirit, spirit temple, temple, right? Okay. Um, so I went in there and I went there's into nothing the, you can do. the right leg factory yes. or whatever. Yeah, there's the and right I leg. Interacted with it and it was a red it's X. Like, nope. 
And like that yeah. was the first time that it, that had happened to me that wasn't just part of like a cut scene. Yeah, you're like, what so is like, this? What is this place? Yeah, so that's where I'm at. I'm like, I don't know what this is. But then I saw like an image of of the secret fifth sage, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, that's that that's that ominous thing in the middle of the construct yeah. factory. I'm like, okay, I think I just can't do that yet. Yeah. I think that's story related. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I got the picture yeah. kind of. I have. Done all the Yiga Clan stuff. Oh, cool. I've beaten I've Master Koga everywhere. I still only did the first Koga fight, yeah. so I need to go He's find him. not very hard. I didn't I didn't think so, but um, I need to go I've do that. I've also done... So. I did... Do you the, remember... Sorry, do you do? Do you get a huge crystallized charge every time you beat him? I think so, yeah. One of the ones that gives yeah. you 100? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's more incentive to go do yeah, it. Yeah, so really so I've got, I've more got battery. nine battery just oh, sweet. now total just because of that. Just beating that stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. So I need to... I want to upgrade my battery more. I actually so. have very little Zonite right now, even yeah. though I had been collecting so much, but I spent it all on that auto build and stuff. stuff. Oh, charges. Yeah. yeah. Especially the large. Yeah. Yeah. I, I use my charge, my large ones immediately. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's funny more though, economical. Is, um, the, or not the charge. I, I always forget the names of the things. Yeah. I, so there's Zonite. I had never used a charge. Oh, to like yeah. refill my to battery. Actually, refill your battery. It never actually. It, it, frankly, it didn't actually occur to me that I even could. Yeah, it's not very clear, so mm -hmm. that's totally understandable. And then one time, I'm like, wait the a minute. The large ones are. I awesome have been collecting too. hundreds of these. Yeah, and like obviously they're for something. And I, I'm, I mostly use them. I put two, two together. <laughs> I use them for the like gotcha gotcha pawn machines. Yeah, uh, mostly, but. The large, especially if you eat one, yeah. it like fills it up and gives you like a supercharge. Yeah. It's like awesome. But do you know if you eat or eat, <laughs> if yeah. you use a regular Zonite charge at full battery, it gives you like temporary battery. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I did not know so that. So you can actually. use them even, yeah. if, even if you're you're at full battery, which is really cool. So mm -hmm. just a little thing I, I randomly found too. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. I'm going... Uh, through the um that's a lot <laughs> different sky island i went to the um the cons construct forge yeah, or whatever forge. in the sky that the was super that's high really up cool one. yeah um did you find the secret chest on there there's a secret chest there maybe not it's I it's got the zonite armor there yeah you, you, i haven't found that you one should yet, yeah no. you should look for that i if did you can. get the shrine yeah. there um, it's right by the shrine yeah oh it's, that's funny. it's not too hard to f it's it's pretty well hidden mm -hmm. and easy to find at the same time it's kind of okay if you can i'll just look for it i'll probably well, find if it if you can i would set your uh your radar whatever mm -hmm. thing to treasure chests oh which you can just do and then you'll probably find it. you'll that. you'll okay. find it no problem yeah if you cool. take a picture of a treasure chest yeah you can just set it set it to oh, your nice. to your thing which is really cool so anyway you can find it that way yeah you gotta uh, like ascend to i did place. find the yeah. cave of chests with like one rupee yeah i love that and, yeah. Uh, yeah that's got the the fire leggings or whatever i did right? open every single chest it's and all then I one just rupee, man. Threw them all into a corner so there's <laughs> just this pile of did you chests. find the the real thing yeah, actually I did. okay it was one of the last ones I opened. Of though. course, I had yeah. opened like ninety percent of them. Yeah. yeah, I think if you like feed the dog something oh, right. specific, yeah. he like he'll lead, lead you to it. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. But I was like, I'm gonna open them all anyway, so I'll find it. Eventually. <laughs> I got open. You, I mean, you made like thirty bucks probably. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pretty good when you think about it. Yeah. Uh, I have just about mm. every side quest. Nice. I've at That's least cool. unlocked them all. I That's haven't cool. done most of them, but I have unlocked just about all of them. There's only like two left. Actually, one of them I can do. I can go unlock now because I've done the uh, the spirit temple. I, oh, I had cool. to wait for the spirit oh, temple yeah. in order to even unlock it. But uh, so you got the you probably got the lightning Farosh outfit, right? Because that's part of yeah the, the rubber. No, not the rubber. Oh no, yeah, yeah. You have to get it. You anyway have to right to do yeah. that. So yeah, it's part of like a. Yeah, the lightning attack. I know, I knew one. because I was trying to get it, mm -hmm. and I couldn't find the places it was talking about. Yeah, <laughs> and then I realized, oh, it's like a main story quest. Got it. Yeah, because I have the I other two. I think you can go get it anyway, but you ca you cannot. Huh. You must be at that point. Like, 
Oh, interesting. The thing okay. that has, like, a thing has to open basically yeah. from a story mission, and there is no other way to open it but through the story. Okay. You have to like talk to Paya. There has mm-hmm. to be like, a, there's like a ring thing that happens. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. have no idea. The secret of the ring ruins, which yeah, like you have to do that. You I have, have no to idea. do all sorts of stuff before you can even start that quest. Yeah, yeah it's a lot. Yeah. Anyway, it was it was annoying because I really yeah. wanted that. Oh, um, I I haven't <laughs> mentioned this yet. Because it's so like it's been just long enough since we recorded, and I played this a lot the last yeah. couple of weeks that uh, it's hard to remember what I had actually accomplished. So, um, I was doing the uh, crisis at Hyrule quest. Oh yeah. So once you do all the Spooky. regional phenomena, you unlock the crisis at Hyrule quest. You see. Zelda, quote unquote, Zelda show yes. up at the castle, and you're and Pura's you like, "Hey, her. go check that out." Yeah. <laughs> hey, maybe you should look at that. Check it. Yeah, yeah, check it. Um, so you go there, you find her. She disappears. A bunch of monsters. Weird. Show up. <laughs> you fight all the monsters. That happens a lot. You look for her again. You find her. More monsters show up. This this happens several times until times. Gan a, a, a like image of Ganon shows up, and he's like, "What's up, dog?" This was my puppet all along, yeah, and jokes now on you, fool. My um, visage, my whatever, uh, my saboteur. I think saboteur. It? My saboteur will fight you, and it's five phantom Ganons. <laughs> that rules. Now I was over prepared for this fight. Okay, <laughs> I was because I was terrifying. I was scared. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this fight. I had nothing to worry about. Yeah. So first of all. Having the fully upgraded champion's tunic is really nice. Really that is a good lot defense. of defense. They were doing maybe one heart of damage total. Dang, to that's cool. With each hit. And at one point, I ate a defense up thing. They were doing about a quarter heart Heck with yeah. each attack. I'm like, like bro, you can't no touch problem. this. And so I had the Scimitar of the Seven, yeah. which has like... 60 ish power so all good. on its own. So good. Has a gets a bonus if you combine it with something. So I combined it with something very strong and got like a hundred something power with it. Yeah. Do you remember what you were combined it with? <sighs> no, I don't. Black Lazalfo's horn? No, it was better than that. Oh, really? Wow. Uh it was pr- it <sighs> blue Lionel horn? No. Silver Moblin? Silver Horriblin. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, I, I got a lot of damage. It is good. I had a lot of damage. A lot, that's a lot of damage. Um, and I was combined. I, I got one of those uh, ancient blades that does that's one 50. hit, but it does 50 yeah. power. Yeah. Had one most, of those. Well, most regular enemies, it just instantly vaporizes. Yeah. yeah. I saw when it, it, the first time I used one, it <laughs> did like, that. Oh, I'm like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> it sucks. You get no drops, though. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. But it's really good. Because mm. they're, because, yeah, against a boss, it's just 50 power. So yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Um, you know, it's funny. So when I started that fight, I started with the um, evil armor set and did for the, because of the bone proficiency. Yeah. And yeah. I had like Gibdo bones and stuff. Yeah. Um, Which is off. great for arrows, especially. Yeah. I like combined right. a Gibdo bone with like a Bokoblin arm. Nice. And I, I kept doing that rules. And, but they were doing a lot of damage to me with that armor. Right. That's so true. then I, I instead moved to the champion's tunic and Hylian went uh, for stuff. Def- went for was tank my, instead. Yeah. And that was way better. Yeah. And then Master Sword just nice. tears through them. Yeah. Cause that gets. Um, any th- when it's around gloom of any yeah, kind, yeah, it, it does bonus. Against it's like gloom one point five, I think, yeah. times damage. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. So yeah, that wound up being very easy. <sighs> that's really cool. And uh, then I did the ring ruin stuff and the um, lightning attack mm-hmm. stuff. And the yeah, spirit I really want to go to that that, that lightning. That that Sky Island in the storm, mm-hmm. which is I think part of that. The quest. storm goes away. Yeah, once but you I, do that quest, and you cannot so, do it until yeah. the storm's gone. It's like basically impossible. Yeah. I think it's technically possible, but you cannot see any. Like, yeah. it's basically pitch black and light bloom seeds do nothing. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Oh, um, 
apparently attaching a light bloom to a weapon is actually not a bad thing. Okay. What does it do? I think. I don't. I don't know. I forget, but okay. uh, it's good. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I remember. Um, I should maybe watch that video again. Yeah. Because of, there's a few things that do like weird interesting stuff yeah you know yeah yeah i i took someone's advice one time um you can use the precious gems mm. as uh for their elements yeah and i had a line elbow which is times five it's a five right. shot and i attached a ruby to it mm -hmm. and and i dropped in like an enemy encampment and it's like i dropped a nuke on them because <laughs> it's five rubies all hitting the ground and it, it was it the fireball was insane and it <laughs> it, it one shot like silver bokoblins nice i was like that's awesome that was <laughs> so worth it no it no you know what it was it was luralin village mm. i went to go like oh yeah you know destroy all the monster forces there that's when i did it mm. and yeah it just like wiped out i'm like that was awesome mm. <laughs> it was yeah it was really cool so highly recommend that especially if you have like the the great eagle bow would do great the three yeah. shot yeah that would do really well too. which i have that that's a, such a good bow yeah, I'm, so. i've been holding on to it like i haven't been using it because i yeah. want to keep the that's three true shot. that is the one of the problems in this game yeah. is when you get a good weapon you don't want to you want to use it but you also don't ever want to use yeah. it because you want to <laughs> save true. it true yeah um i got the dusk bow mm -hmm. which is it's like an accuracy long range bow mm. and you can get it at the very top of Hyrule Castle. It's just okay. like sitting on its own. Yeah, actually I got that one. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah, it's at the very top and decent strength, super good like for long mm -hmm. range. It's really good. I bow. think I already used it up. Yeah, I love, <laughs> I love that bow. Um, I have the Demon King's bow. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's very good too, especially because now I have like... 20 ish hearts mm -hmm. i think i have 22 maybe hearts yeah. um and so it does like 50 something 54 damage i think yeah is what it's at for me because yeah it does more and more the more maximum hearts you have mm. so yeah it's super good yeah i um mm. Mm -hmm. i lost it anyway <laughs> i didn't until austin john's video i didn't think of fusing anything with the master sword <laughs> right I, I didn't even like realize you could really do that <laughs> uh-huh so i just attached a, a silver lionel saber horn to it <laughs> mm. like the most powerful fuse weapon right just to give it a little little bonus because i'm taking out silver lionels in like five hits now like yeah. okay like they're nothing <laughs> so yeah i do the i have a pristine royal guards claymore mm-hmm at, at its last hit yeah because when you're mounted on lionel does no damage right and i have a Molduga jaw which is the strongest bone right. fuse weapon and i have the bone proficiency and i have plus three attack yeah which is an extra 1.5 bonus and yeah that's how i five a shot a silver lionel like yeah. no problem so yeah very helpful uh for for farming and materials Molduga jaw has shatter right so it's even good against uh armored yes. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a hammer, so yeah. really good against froxes too. Mm. Like even obsidian froxes are nothing basically yeah. <laughs> compared to that. Yeah, so I really want to get the scimitar of the seven mm -hmm. and put a jaw on that because yeah. that gets a bonus too. So yeah. that would be really good for a one handed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super super good. Yeah, and then attaching a shield to a sword. Right, that's a thing, right? You can yeah. like parry with the sword now or something because yeah, there's you, a shield or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, I haven't messed with that yet. Have yeah, you, have you tried about, that? Even like talked about like um, jumping to cancel the animation in midair to go, get it back into a blocking stance. Yeah. With really a two handed weapon. Really interesting. Yeah. yeah, I need to mess with that because mm -hmm. that's really cool. Yeah. I think, as I saw Small Ant talking about that too, mm -hmm. I'm actually watching his, he has the VODs on youtube yeah of his first playthrough of the game very first where he knows nothing about yeah. it and it's really interesting because i'm also watching game grumps play through it yeah so game grumps has just started their playthrough finally okay it's like eight episodes in now at, at, at this point and the stark contrast between <laughs> small ant and aaron hansen yeah is 
is incredible. <laughs> it is the most like speed run tech. Like I'm a I am a master. I've speed run 100 percent in Breath of the Wild so many times. I'm a master small ant versus Aaron, who is like, how is what is sword? You know, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's awesome. Yeah. Um, but because small ant also sort of plays more like I do. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know the way he messes with stuff in the game is just like how I do it basically. Yeah. Like I'm not saying I'm as good as him. He's, you know, <laughs> next level, but um so it's really fun. And then that's just like Aaron takes 45 minutes on one shrine, you know? Yeah. It's just like it's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so watching the duality of man is really fun. Yeah. Um yeah, he it's like Small Ant did also he definitely did what a lot of the developers intended mm -hmm. also, you know, where you he just wanders into the right place. Yeah. You know, whereas a lot of people don't do that, yeah. you know? Yeah, I don't so know. So, like... It's a whole thing. What I did in the game is I tried to explore the entire... I tried to explore the entire map as early in the game as I could. Mm -hmm. And there were... The only times I stopped were when it got too frustrating. And I was like, I need to be stronger. I need to have better stuff yeah. to make this easier for me. Yeah, that makes sense. Um but eventually, and that's why I have the depth filled out and everything and yeah. had it like early in the game. Which I don't even have. So <laughs> I was determined to do that. Um, but so I've done a ton of bouncing around between places. Mm -hmm. Whereas another way you could play and what you could argue is a smarter way to play is you go to one place and you do everything there. Right, right. You talk to everyone, you do everything, you look for everything, you like complete one little area mm -hmm. completely and then, and then just bit. never yeah. and never have to go back because you've done everything yeah or you can do like me and you're just constantly zipping back and forth mm -hmm. well i think the main issue with zipping back and forth is you don't get as strong because yeah. you're not collecting as much and mm -hmm. like i don't know absorbing as much yeah I feel like well, you get more items and weapons yeah. and the armor. The thing is, is, I did collect you absorb. a lot. It's just that, unfortunately, I didn't know what would be useful and exactly. what wouldn't. Yeah. And so... That's huge. I, I keep getting to the point where it's like, I have encountered this thing so many times, and yet now I have to look for it on purpose. And I have no idea where. Yeah. It Dang. doesn't matter matter that I've seen this dozens of times right, already. Like, but I don't where? remember where any of those places are. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's for sure. Like that was me with summer wing butterflies. Yeah, I was having a really hard time. Like, getting those. um, so I got, <laughs> I didn't think this would be hard, and it wasn't. But uh, I was gonna fully upgrade the champion's tunic. It was at yeah. one star. I was gonna go just get everything and bump it all the way to four star. Yeah, which so is I expensive. Also, forty five sundalions. Yeah, yeah, and thankfully. Between just two areas mm -hmm. in the um, great the sky yeah. in the great uh, sky islands, there was one in, uh, above um, Elden and one above yeah. uh, Nakluda. Okay, uh, and I went to those two places and got about forty. Nice. Out of the forty-five, I needed. And now you needed five more. <laughs> yeah. Well, and so I, uh -oh. I had it. Uh, I had my tracker set to it, which oh, was good. part of what made it quicker that and helps easier a lot. and then yeah. i just it's dropped so down much. to eldon and walk run ran around for a bit and i found the rest nice that's pretty good they're a lot more sparse down there but they're yeah. there yeah they are on the surface yeah but just way more sparse mm -hmm. yeah and so uh and then for the light dragon i just i just chilled on the light dragon and mm -hmm. just set a timer it's a great play it's a great way to farm yeah. dragon parts thankfully with scales you just hit it and then it's like just just sits almost, there. Almost sucks to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The um, hardest by far is the talons and the fangs. Yes. If you're, if you're trying to stay were, on the those dragon. Those were the hard parts for staying on. For like, sure. it, like it has a gust, you know, that helps yeah. keep you up. But collecting it immediately is yeah. tough. I messed that up a I few times. I did manage to get one of the fangs doing that. Nice. I was good. dove for it and I got it. Yeah. And, and I was able to jump back up. up. But uh, for both the claws, I yeah. had to go all the way to the ground and get all the way back up yeah. onto it. That's annoying because the light can be hard to find, the light mm -hmm. dragon. So Yeah. And so yeah. I had to get two of each piece from it to fully upgrade the tunic. Right. But I yeah. did get them all. Nice. And then... Um, yeah, it was one of the things I did quite a while ago now. But mm -hmm. I, like, farmed all four dragons because I knew I needed dragon parts for 
the fierce deity outfit. Yeah. Also takes dragon parts of mm-hmm. all the other three, basically. Yeah. So I had to really <laughs> sit and collect. It yeah. took a, a lot of time to get the um, froggy armor upgraded to. Oh, yeah. Because I had to find all the oh, sticky lizards. Have. Oh and, yeah, and um, I did so much cave diving and yeah. collected everything that it was no, that it was like also nothing. regular horrible horns. I didn't have all that many. Yeah, left, and I needed some. Yeah, yeah, because I always felt like I found black ones and stuff, mm-hmm. blue and black ones. Yeah, and now they're all silver. But um, but yeah, yeah, I have a lot of silver enemies, but not um, they're not like they're yeah. still a pretty small minority. That makes sense because um, bosses count for yeah. experience. And so since you've done mm-hmm. every boss but Ganondorf, then that's you're probably a pretty high level. Yeah. I'm at max level now mm-hmm. because even the highest weapons all have like a gold like bonus on them. Yeah. So I know I'm definitely yeah. at max level. I'm going to so. dig through the depths looking for pristine Royal Guard weapons. Yes, that's definitely do that. My hope. And I want to get them fully upgraded and everything too. Because... Yeah. Uh, there's a specific video Austin John yeah. made that's really helpful because... For some reason, yeah, it's like west near, mm-hmm. like just north of. I actually Gerudo-ish. have a video open right now on my computer. <laughs> okay, for that because so. that helped that helped me a lot. Because yeah, because yeah. yeah, the royal guard stuff is in weird spots. Yeah, I would assume it'd be near Hyrule Castle, but that is not the case. Mm-hmm. So I just thought it would be random, but I yeah. guess it's only sort of random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then the other stuff makes sense, like. Zora spears and stuff are near the depths and yeah. near Zora's domain and stuff like that. Like yeah, that's that that's easy. Sense. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, oh, I really want to get part of why I wanted to finish the the uh, what's it? What are they called? <sighs> <laughs> the main dungeons. You know, I yeah, want to the, the, the temples. What's the quest name though? Uh, the regional phenomena. phenomena. Yeah, regional phenomena. That's right. Yeah, I really want. The light scale trident and the 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 scimitar of the seven. Yeah. So I really that's part of why I really want to get yeah. those done. <laughs> yeah, because those are just insanely good weapons. Yeah. I like that this game has done more extremes. I would say mm-hmm. than Breath of the Wild, but it's in a good way. Like yeah. I feel like good weapons are way more good, and yeah. like I don't know, like everything matters a little more. Mm-hmm. I feel like in this resources matter more like I'm really fighting to get stuff a little more mm-hmm. and I don't know how else to explain it, but there's I, just more. I Everything just, is more yeah, in this game. It's I need crazy. to see a video on uh, shield fusions now that I've seen all yes. those, uh, yeah. all the different types of weapon. Fusions. Shield stuff is so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I still only I always, have four shield slots. Yeah. <laughs> well, you only have like 10 Koroks, so yeah. I'm I'm almost to 300 Koroks, so I'm getting um, there. Because weapons are just too useful for me. Yeah, it's, like, it's true. Because they're um, you can fight enemies. Um, true. With you can use things like Korok fronds to uh, blow stuff. Blow yeah. stuff. Um, Even just wooden breaks, breaks breaking yeah. rocks. Yep. Uh, chopping down trees. Like I need it, uh, my weapon slots are also my tool slots. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I uh, I have a very precious tool for breaking rocks and stuff. No. I got the cobble crusher, uh-huh. which is like the you know yeah. I've special had like one. Four of those. Yeah, <laughs> I know they break. Even they're they're very good, but yeah. they still break. But and I have a luminous uh, stone talus heart mm. that I killed off really early in the game that I fused to it. Yeah, and so yeah, that's my you know, that's my go to. It never occurred to me that large heavy objects could be fused with weapons yeah including yeah. the like blocks that fall from the sky yep those things are big enough to Gigantic. stand on and you can fuse them to a yeah. weapon no, no big problem deal. no problem yep it's so funny and what i what i love are the really are like the one-of-a-kind things you yeah. can fuse which i think he even mentioned in the video but like there's like a desk in <laughs> in the um the gerudo town mm-hmm that's like, it's one of a kind. That's where that desk is. But you can yeah. fuse it and have the desk sword. Oh, I like, love this. Someone <laughs> awesome. posted on Reddit. They were like, I moved Yuna to, uh, uh, and you know who Yuna is, right? Um, Sidon's. Um, yeah. Love. Yeah. Yeah. His fiance. She's His great. Fiance. Uh, She's really funny. Uh, it said, I moved Yuna to Gerudo Town. 
And she's just standing there Bro, in Gerudo. Town. That's impressive. Like, that <sighs> probably took so long. Yeah, because so you can you can trap like NPCs and get them to move mm -hmm. just by sheer force. Um, because I guess they're not fully, you know, staked into the ground. Yeah. But man, I bet that took effort and time, mm -hmm. but really funny. <laughs> so, so yeah, I help. I also have a, I have one of the blue toys. One of Riju's like stuffed animals. Mm -hmm. I have, oh, that. Yeah. I have that on a Royal Claymore that yeah. I have. And I, I always just keep that. That's a constant in Boing. my weapons. <laughs> yeah. So I always have a bouncy weapon in that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if Re if Riju knew you took her stuffed animal, I know. She'd kill it's messed you. up. <laughs> well, you know what? Actually, you know what I found? Uh, on like this near this random river in like Nakluda mm -hmm. is like a salesman or something, or like I don't know, a vendor of some sort that has like a wagon full of those stuffed oh, toys. Oh, that's funny. I was like, whoa, there's more of them. And there's like all the all three of them. There's tons of them in there. Wow. So you can get them from there too, apparently. Yeah. yeah. I recently found that while I was Korok hunting. It seems like most objects in the game, with some ex exceptions, obviously, uh, can be bought yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Which is really nice because then they're mm -hmm. not, I don't know, they don't disappear forever and then yeah. you're screwed. I only yeah. recently started seeing Soldier 4 constructs. Oh, yeah. And. Finally fought my first Captain Force concept. The Captain Force. Which They're his hardcore. horn was one of the highest their horns power are so good. Yeah. items that I've had. Yeah, their horns are good. I have a, unfortunately, like the mighty Zonite sword, right? Mm -hmm. Their best sword fused with a Captain <clears throat> Four with a bonus because the Zonite thing is still not as strong as any of my other stuff, basically. Oh, yeah. So I kind of have no use for them now. Which is um, kind of a shame, I think. Okay. Because I kind of wish I had one. what the rules are for fusing Zonite stuff? Because it seems like the majority of Zonite objects cannot be fused because they say it's already been fused. Been fused. Which Zonite objects are you talking about? Exactly? Um, every Zonite weapon I feel like I've ever picked up. Yeah. Most of, <laughs> most of them that are held by soldiers and stuff mm -hmm. have something fused to them. They're not just yeah, but a pure sword. There was sword. nothing obvious that was fused to them. Oh, interesting. It just looked like a Zonite weapon of some sort. Well, like a Zonite sword yeah. on its own is is just the handle. Yeah. So that's probably why. Mm. It has it basically has no blade. When there's nothing yeah. fused to it and you take it out, it has like a little laser. Yeah. A little I think like I'm used to like the name out. implying what it's fused to, and uh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, and maybe and it not. wasn't obvious to me that this was two separate things fused okay. together. So it seemed like I, I thought for a long time that you just couldn't fuse Zonite stuff. Mm. Yeah, no, you can definitely which is why definitely fuse them. Which is why after a certain point, I was like, "Yeah, Zonite stuff's not that great." Cause so I, I can't guess fuse it. I guess maybe but, just when you find one, see if you can hit destroy fused material. See if mm -hmm. you can hit that, and it'll maybe go away. Yeah. whatever is fused to it so yeah i guess try that because yeah i think everything you find from them is fused to yeah. something of some sort so yeah and sometimes fused to really weird things that well yeah don't make any sense when it's fused to something weird that's when it's obvious that's it's obvious, like, oh yeah. yeah like oh they they fused a piece of meat to the end of it <laughs> <laughs> yeah or their shield clearly has a flame emitter on it yeah, yeah. pretty obvious i'm it's a shame when Zonai devices don't really do much when attached to a weapon or shield. Yeah. Like, I feel like a fan shield should be better yeah. than it is. It does nothing. <laughs> There's, like, no use for it whatsoever. Yeah. Although, if you if you have a fan on a shield and you go to shield surf, mm -hmm. it'll hit the ground and you'll just, like, fall over. Uh -huh. Like, it has no, like, traction whatsoever. <laughs> or, I guess, too much traction. So it's actually a great way to instantly ragdoll if you want to. <laughs> so you could like do that and just ragdoll off an edge and it's hilarious. So there is one use, yeah. I guess. That's a good use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, combine a rocket to the end of your thing and just th fire, fling rockets at things. Yeah, for real. I still love the rocket shield. That's a great, yeah. great way to get up, get up, get up high really easily. <laughs> Yeah, if you if you have you done that? Have you done no, a rocket shield? I have not. You just like hold I've, it out. I've done very just, little shield. You just go. Fusing. You just yeah. like fly. It's awesome. Nice. So if you just want a quick, like obviously uses up the rocket, but 
mm-hmm. if you just want to need a quick little rise, that's that's really helpful. Yeah. Yes. Why climb when you can just rocket shield? <laughs> so it's for when you can't ascend, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I. Uh, oh, you said I can't ascend here. I beg to differ. Yeah, I will find a way. <laughs> or or a bomb on a shield is great because you can then shield surf and like bounce off. It like explodes and you like boom yeah. when we like go up. That's really good too. Uh, I was going to mention, I'm really glad I have the sticky armor for mm-hmm. like that, all the Zora stuff. Yeah. Because a lot of it is in like wet caves. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, thank it God I have the sticky again, armor. Again, <laughs> one of those things that would have been very helpful earlier in the game. I'm just saying, I did everything before and now I have all this awesome stuff yeah. for the for the like, water temple. <laughs> I'm going like, to breeze through the water yeah. temple. <laughs> If I if, like if I was playing the game over again, I think the first thing I'd do is collect a bunch of sticky lizards. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get these sticky lizards. Yeah. yeah. And you got to get all the lucky gazette stuff over with so you get the sticky armor. Yeah. And actually, I guess one of the first things I would do is get the upgraded sensor. Yes. Oh my gosh. Do that yeah. like first thing. <laughs> the sensor plus the travel medallions and everything. Yeah. Those are so useful. My goodness. You know, it's funny. So I have two permanently placed travel medallions. Yeah. One of them is right outside uh, Terrytown. I have one at Terrytown, too. Yeah, because it's such it's a so long useful. walk from the shrine. <laughs> it's a great it's a great place to, to go. So. And then I have another one right outside the front of Rito Village. Okay. Because, cool. which I don't really need it as much anymore, but there were a couple of times where I was trying to get... Because there's a shrine, obviously, right in the middle of the village. But mm-hmm. um, if you want to get to, like, the the bridge, uh-huh. it's kind of a long walk. So yeah, I is. just put one right there. No, it is. So it's easy to get to. Um, have you been to the um, chasm underneath Rito Village? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that was cool. And the one underneath Zora's Domain, too. I found that, too. Yeah. Have you found that one? I'm, I must have, because oh. I have the full list. Oh, okay. It's like under a water. You have to go through through a waterfall, and it's like yeah. right, right underneath Zoro's domain. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I don't really remember, but like I I looked, probably, I went through a guide that all had all of them, and I checked everything on the list. Yeah. So I must have. You but, probably do. Um, the ones that took the the chasms that took the longest were, of course, the maze ones, the labyrinths. Yeah, definitely. I did all three labyrinths. Because you get there's one there's one in the depths, one in the mate, and, and one three. in the sky. Yeah, so. yeah, that's that took me a while as well. What I found is so I've done 125 shrines. Wow. Um, and what I've found in this game is there's a lot of Raru's blessings. Yeah, there's a ton of them. There's like yeah. 50 probably nice. because there's so many shrine quests. Uh-huh. Or just like annoying, you know, crystal. It's always the mazes crystals. and like, you know, go go through this weird cave or tons of caves have yeah. shrines. There's a lot of cave shrines, um, but it's really nice to just get a robber's blessing. If I did every shrine that I've actually found, I'd already be at like ninety something. Yeah, okay. So I have found most of them. I've done all the ones I've found too. So yeah, I'm at one twenty five. So I'm close to a. Th- Thir- a full third ring of stamina. Mm-hmm. That was my next goal. Yeah. Uh, as far as um, stuff you can get from uh, Lights of Blessing. I've yes. only got three sage, two sage wills. Oh, sage okay. Wills. I have, I found 11, I think. <laughs> wow. There's 20 total. Yeah. Um, but I've done a lot of sky missions. Yeah. It's because I was looking for shrines actually in the sky. Yeah. And I just found I've been to other all challenges. but like two sky islands. Dude, some of the Sage Will stuff, I was like, I can't believe there's something here and that it's this important. Yeah. Like some of them are Yeah, at, both of the ones the I found I was not looking for. I just randomly it's crazy. found. Yeah. So if you want to collect all of them, which but they're so used they're so good, by the way. Yeah. They let you upgrade your sages, mm-hmm. basically. And they become more strong and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I'll probably do that just um, to make um yeah, yeah, it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, one of them is you have to f- destroy the King Gliok yeah. in the corner mm-hmm. sky one. So good luck with that one. There, I have a couple of Gliok quests. Yeah, um, not sure I'm even ever gonna do them, but <laughs> you should fight one sometime. Come on, yeah. they're so cool. Yeah. 
I never once fought a Lionel in Breath of the Wild, and I... Yeah. 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 Maybe do it in this game. Maybe try well, it. Well, if I can learn how to parry and flurry yeah. rush and all that, if I can actually get do that the, down, I can do a regular Lionel. Yeah. The regular Lionel with just your champion's tunic, it's probably going to be easier than the five random yeah. Ganons, honestly. The, a regular Lionel especially, yeah, they're not... They're really not too bad. Yeah. They're just scary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And now silver ones are just, they're nothing. <laughs> they're nothing. Oh, it's good times. I have a feeling Ganondorf is going to be a lot easier for you than It's possible. Uh, we'll me, see. But yeah. Hey, maybe, you know, who knows? I might get wrecked. Yeah. I also have like 15 fairies, though. So I'm probably, oh, yeah. it's probably easy. Yeah. That's probably fine. I, I have two. So. <laughs> hey, that's more than zero. Actually, I should have three now because uh, so every time I find fairies, I grab as many as I can. I'll throw the sheik armor on yeah. and you know you try want to creep up, but uh, I sometimes they're they always still fly. They're always away. just a little too high usually. Yeah. <laughs> yep, very patience with those for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, before we end, we're already at fifty minutes. Um, I want to talk about the Nintendo Direct that yes. happened. So. We'll pivot a little bit into Nikolai tells Brian about what's going on in the world of gaming. Mm-hmm. Um, do you know anything? No, not really. Okay. I think I saw something on my Switch screen, but uh, okay. I'll let you tell me. So one of the big things was Pikmin, mm-hmm. which I know you aren't really, you have never played Pikmin. Right. But um, they shadow dropped Pikmin 1 and 2, mm. H, you know, HD remaster on the Switch which is so awesome. And I mm-hmm. really want to get them hopefully soon that the bundle for Pikmin one and two has just recently, I think only in Japan, but it overtook digital sales of tears of the kingdom wow. in Japan. <laughs> so, by, so Pikmin's coming back. I'm just saying a yeah. uh, really cool trailer for Pikmin four. Um, you will be able to play one through four on the switch, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. So um, I like Pikmin a lot. I think that's super cool. So, but other than that, um, probably the biggest announcement is that they're fully remaking Super Mario RPG. I saw, I did see, I just, just saw that's, Super Mario RPG. That's real. Wow. Full remake. So I'm playing that. It blew everyone's minds. <laughs> like unheard of. Absolutely unexpected. Gives us hope for Paper Mario. I'm just saying, yeah. <laughs> just saying um looks gorgeous so here's like, the thing though, i'm so all I'm about almost it. scared of them doing a paper mario right? i know they're gonna ruin Monster. it we'll see yeah. i mean if they could do mario rpg really good we'll see right yeah you know maybe i guess knows? this is like the the test to see can exactly they, um yeah, can we trust i'm them? absolutely hyped for that um it is a full 60 dollar game by the way <laughs> um very oh. nintendo that's mm. okay um it looks very faithful so far. Like everyone's kind of chibi a little mm-hmm. bit uh, in their models, but there seems to be some sort of extra ness to the fighting mechanics. Like, I don't know, maybe it just looks better, but I think they've added some stuff. So, so we'll see yeah. that's coming out this year. I think it's holiday season, like, mm. like November or something. Um, anyway, mind blowing. So cool. Um, so there's that. That's the biggest thing I would say. Um. Oh, really exciting for me. Uh, WarioWare, a new yeah. WarioWare. It's a sequel to Smooth Moves mm. for the Wii. So it's like you take your Joy Cons and you do like dumb stuff and you like yeah. move around <laughs> like you like you did with the Wii Remote. So I'm actually really excited for yeah. that. What was that game we played that was that reminded me of WarioWare that involved the Joy Con? Uh, one two switch maybe. I don't think so. Uh, snipper clips. I doubt that. No, it, uh, uh, like I remember snipper clips, but it wasn't that. Because like I remember feeling like the feeling of like a marble like moving. Oh around whoa! Was that in this joy? Was that just a mini game in like? Oh, one of it the probably new Mario was in, in Mario Party, probably in, like, Super Mario Party or something. Yeah, yeah, because they did a lot of that. Yeah, so that, that would make it sense. reminded me of Warrior. Yeah, Warrior. definitely. Yeah, the mini games were very used that really well actually. The sort yeah. of the HD rumble I think is what they call it. Uh-huh. But yeah. Uh so that was cool. They show they also showed very brief it was like 
nothing. There's no title for this game, but there is a Princess Peach game mm. happening. <clears throat> and it looks like it looks like a play almost with like these paper um like sets being made. Uh-huh. And it's you I can't tell what type of game it is. I yeah. don't think it's a platformer, but like and she doesn't have her tiara, so it sounds like almost an origin story mm-hmm. of her like going through maybe like going through her childhood or something. I don't know. Um, and then right at the end, it looks like she's about to go through like a Sailor Moon transformation, uh-huh. and then it ends, and they're wow. like, "A Peach game's coming," and we're like, uh, "Okay." Uh, so there's that. That was definitely something. And then uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, mm. which is the second Luigi's Mansion, is going is getting a Switch version as mm. well which is pretty cool because that one was very 3ds like it was very much you know used the 3ds so it's really interesting i don't know how they're gonna kind of translate that to the switch but that'll be interesting uh the last big announcement was a the new mario game Mm -hmm. okay finally a new mario game yeah odyssey came out a long time ago yeah i guess that has (laughs) so um i've still never played odyssey oh odyssey's so good but you're not a you're not a huge 3d mario guy but yeah i mean i guess i guess i haven't played a a mainline mario game since uh sunshine yeah so So, i mean if you didn't even really play galaxy i'm not surprised you haven't played odyssey (laughs) but uh yeah sunshine does not feel like it was 20 years it's it's so old Yeah. yeah uh it's sad okay so this Mario game, it is a 2D Mario game. Uh-huh. I don't really like the new Super Mario Bros. games very much. Okay. Like new Super Mario Bros. Wii, new Super Mario Bros. U, Deluxe, uh-huh. right? All these games, they always felt soulless a little to me. Uh-huh. Like, it was very blah and just feel. I don't know. Um, the music repeated. Like, even the music wasn't that great. No. Like every level sort of looked the same like all these things um they've fixed all that <laughs> mm. it is there is so much personality in this yeah. the art style is kind of weird like mario's like mannerisms they're very much akin to like old mario art from like the mario 64 era mm. like with these weird facial expressions and stuff so that's awesome like it looks mm. amazing um and the whole premise of the game is expect the unexpected, is mm. what they said. It's called Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And it's like, <laughs> ooh. Um, and it's already a little weird in, in vibe. Mm-hmm. And then you get like this a magical acorn. And it's like the whole game goes on an acid trip all of a sudden. <laughs> and like... And, like, everything has eyes, including pipes, are all alive now. And, like, a pipe turns into an inchworm. And then, like, Mario gets really long. And then, like, <laughs> and then like the music gets weird. And then, like, it gets weird. Like, it's yeah. like the Beatles had a hand in this <laughs> Mario game. I don't know. It's very, it's a little Sergeant Pepper a little bit. Yeah. Um, Oh, speaking of that, uh, we we watched the movie uh, yesterday. Oh, yeah. Uh, Maybe that's why I was thinking of the Beatles. Because yeah. mom, mom told me about that. Yeah. Anyway, I actually need to watch that. But anyway, I'm almost done with Mario. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's the whole idea. It's supposed to be weird. Yeah. And at the very end, you might have seen this because there's art of it everywhere. But Mario gets a new power up mm-hmm. and he turns into an elephant. Okay. I don't think I have okay. seen this. Elephant Mario is a thing everywhere uh-huh. right now because it's like he's like a he's like a big elephant but it's mm-hmm. mario like he's got the mustache but his, but a trunk also he's just a big old elephant uh <laughs> weird it's wacky it's mario wonder uh people are also freaking out because daisy is a playable character mm. which everyone's like ah daisy um who else is pl- there's like eight playable characters right now mm. already shown luigi peach yellow toad a few different colored Yoshis. You can mm. play as just Yoshi. Nice. Which is really interesting. I wonder how, like, that's... Because I also saw Mario on Yoshi. Mm-hmm. But you can also just play as Yoshi. So I'm really curious to what that's about. Um, but, like, if you told me they were going to make a new 2D Mario, right? 
Mm -hmm. I'd be like disappointed because I assume it was like the new Super Mario Bros. games. Yeah. But they have fixed everything they could possibly fix. Yeah. Like it, Nintendo did it again, man. Yeah. This is going to be, I'm like, I'm like, this is going to be a good Mario game. <laughs> like this rules. So they freaking did it again. I don't know. That's, yeah. I don't know. I'm just a, I might be a Nintendo fanboy or something, but yeah. they just, they keep killing it, man. Mm -hmm. Like Tears of the Kingdom, it delivered. You yep. know, Pikmin 4 looks amazing. Mario Wonder looks fantastic. They're doing, they're remaking Mario RPG, which I never yeah. thought would happen. Uh -huh. Like, it was, everyone was like, yeah. okay, that was a good direct. <laughs> they're like, yeah. they did it. I've spent a grand total of maybe 30 minutes playing Super Mario RPG. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I've really never, curious. About I've this. never beaten it. Yeah. I think I've gotten really far in it. Yeah. a couple times but i've never actually beaten the, the game fully so definitely will this time i don't think square has any hand in it mm. i think it's totally uh, mario's totally taken it yeah. uh, nintendo has but everyone's freaking out because gino <laughs> is finally in a modern thing <laughs> like, yeah. like he's back as if he was in smash or something yeah the gino fans just take what they can get i guess <laughs> I those poor those poor people uh, oh, I guess they're making a new Detective Pikachu game, too, on the Switch, oh, okay. which was a game I forgot. <laughs> that was a DS game, by the way, oh, yeah. Detective Pikachu. I uh, never played it either, so I don't even know. They're making a second one for the Switch, so yeah. there's that, I guess. Uh, yeah. Cool. That's about it. Speaking of Pokemon, before we end, I am at 18,144. <laughs> Still shiny hunting, shiny Kiram. Wow. I will get it, and I will not quit. <laughs> the grind never stops, okay? That's right. I didn't, I don't, didn't do it during this recording because I wanted to actually pay attention to what I was talking about. But yeah. Anyway, after this, I'm going to go play, maybe beat the Water Temple. I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> All right, after this, I'm going to bed. What? But That's crazy. Before I go to bed... How can our listeners get a hold of Before us? Before I Nikolai? go to bed, I'm going to go on Twitter and follow us at the Brothers G Pod. Oh, wait, I'm already following. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to unfollow and then refollow. No. I mean, yeah. Except I'd have to reinstall Twitter on my phone. Oh, <laughs> I haven't uh -oh. had it on my phone in a while. What else, Brian? Well, they can listen to this again on YouTube. Please listen to the podcast. Oh, wait, you already did. Yeah. But please download you it also. You can also download it. That would mean so much to us. Oh my gosh. Or if you're on YouTube, what's up YouTube? Leave a comment. Leave us a like. It actually helps us and means a lot. Mm -hmm. So we'd love to see your comments. Yeah. We'd love to hear your, your thoughts. Yeah. You can also check out our subreddit, r slash Brothers Game Podcast. Because I guess Reddit still exists. May maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a dead now. website now. But. <laughs> Do it anyway? Question mark? Yeah. It's the worst because now I'm asking questions of things and i go to old reddit posts from google but the post doesn't exist anymore yeah it's very upsetting mm -hmm. reddit answered a lot of questions about a lot yeah. of things okay anyway whatever all right the internet's night, dead everybody. goodbye <laughs>